This video is the direct result of something that happened on a project I was working on and I'm going to go over some of the different amounts of water that can flow through different pipes and the area of the pipe diameter, each pipe and uh, um, percentage of some differences in the uh, numbers to give you an idea of what we're looking at. And it's going to shock you. I mean, it blew my mind the first time I found out about this. And what I was actually doing was working on a project where they had installed a six inch water supply pipe. This was going to feed the track of homes that we were working on. And the foreman came up to me one day and was explaining the problem that the superintendent had ran into. And he said in order to correct it, they would have to add an additional six inch water supply pipe. They should have put an eight inch in. But in order to solve the problem, that now they're going to have to have two six inch water supply pipes. And I was like, that doesn't even make sense. You know, I mean, in your mind, you're probably thinking if you have a six inch water supply pipe, wouldn't you put in a two inch to solve the problem? And that's not the case. And you'll see what I'm talking about, hopefully by the end of the video. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start with a half inch water supply pipe and work my way up to an eight inch pipe. So starting with a half inch water supply pipe, it has a 0.196 square inches of area in the pipe. And I'm just going to go down, work my way. I'm going to start with this and then I'll go into the water flow rate. For a three quarter inch pipe, it has a 0.441 um, square inches. One inch pipe, 0.785. A two inch, 3.14, a 3 inch, 7.06 square inches, 4 inches, 12.56, 5 inches going to be a 19.62, 6 inches going to be 28.27, and an 8 inch is going to be 50.26 cubic inches. Of, uh, so this is just the area of the pipe if we were just to slice it in half. Now the percentage difference between a half inch and a three quarter inch is 125% in the area of the, um, of the area of the diameter of the pipe. So if you remember a half inch was one was 0.196. And then the three quarter inch is 0.441. So we know that uh, there is double the amount of area. But when it comes to water flow, that's not always going to be the same percentage. So for example, I took a specific chart and um, used the numbers from that. And the chart was kind of vague. Uh, if you um, lower or raise the water pressure, you're going to be able to put more water through each one of the pipes. And it did not provide me with a specific um, pounds per square inch of water pressure, but it did provide me with a chart that had numbers that seemed like they would have been relevant to a certain amount of water pressure going through all of these pipes at the same time. So those are the numbers we're going to use. So and those are going to be in gallons per minute. So to give you an idea, a half inch pipe um, can fill up 14 gallons in a minute. That's how much water can run through this pipe at a specific PSI. And the PSI that they gave us on the chart was uh, ridiculous. I'm not even going to mention it. So let's just assume that it's 50 PSI and uh, go from there. Now a three quarter inch pipe a, so we had 14 gallons here. The three quarter inch pipe is 23 gallons. And if you think about it, 28 gallons would be double. And we're only raising the diameter of the pipe by a quarter of an inch. And, and we're getting that much more water out of it. When we go to a one inch pipe, we are now getting 37 gallons per minute. So more than double. Uh, the half inch pipe, which of course you would think, wait, if we're going from an inch to a half inch, 
um, we should have uh, more than double. But once we get into some of these other numbers, it's going to be, it's going to kind of get uh, shocking. So with the one inch, or let's go back to the half inch to the three quarter inch, the percentage of increase is 64% more water than the half inch pipe. The difference between a one inch pipe and a three quarter inch pipe is going to be 60% more water. 60% more water will flow through a one inch pipe than it will a three quarter inch pipe. Now, once we go to a two inch pipe, we are now increasing the water, the amount of volume from a one inch to a two inch by 243% or 127 gallons per minute. Now, when we go to the three inch pipe, 3-inch pipe is 273 gallons per minute. Remember, we're working with their um, PSI measurement. You increase the PSI or you lower it, you're going to get different numbers. But the difference between these two is now 115%. So if you think about it, the biggest increase so far was between the 2-inch and the 1-inch pipe. Now, when we go to the 4-inch pipe, it is producing 480 gallons per minute a 76% increase between the 3 inch to the 4 inch. And if we go to the 5 inch, we now have a 56% increase between the 5 inch and the 4 inch. The 5 inch produces 750 gallons per minute. Now when we jump over to the 6 inch, we are producing 1100 gallons per minute of water and a 47% increase from the five inch size pipe. So almost half um, more water is, fl is flowing through a pipe that's only one inch in diameter larger or one half of an inch radius. So the five inch pipe, if we slid it into the six inch pipe, it would have a half inch difference and a 47% increase in water flow. And that just is just nuts. It's just hard to even imagine. Now, when we get to an eight inch pipe, we're talking 1900 gallons per minute, 73% increase in volume. Now, remember I jumped from a five to a six, this was one inch. I didn't uh, bring a seven inch pipe in here. So going from a six inch to a eight inch pipe, this is a 73% increase in um, water flow. Now I'm not going to go through all of these individually and bounce around, but I did want to go from a one inch to a four inch. So one inch to a four inch. The difference in flow between a one inch, one inch pipe and a four inch pipe is 1200%. You're going to get 1200% more water to flow through a pipe that is four inches in diameter than you will with a one inch diameter pipe. And uh, that would be a 1600% increase in area. So the area, if you remember on a four inch pipe is 12.56. On a one inch pipe, it is 7.85. You do the math on that you're going to get 1600%. A 1600% increase in volume um, does not add up to the flow rate. So you can't just take the area of a circle and assume that that's going to provide you with the same flow rate because we have a difference. 1600% difference in the area, difference between a four inch and a one inch and we only have a 1200% increase in water flow. Now, when we go from a one inch to an eight inch, we have a 5000% increase in the flow rate and the uh, any 6400% increase in the area of the um, circle. So that's kind of that's that's something you're thinking like and I would imagine it would be in proportion if we went in to the 1600 percent for the four inch difference between a one inch, the one inch and an eight inch, which would be 6400 percent increase. Now to give you an idea what I'm talking about when I say 
100%. That means it's 64 pipes. We could fit 64, or the area, I should say, the same area of 64 one-inch pipes inside of an 8-inch circular pipe. So that's the area difference. And so again, this kind of blows your mind. When you think of a one inch to an eight inch, you might think that you could fit maybe 20 pipes in there, but 64, that's nuts. A four inch pipe, you could fit 16. And remember I said there was a 1600% increase. You could do the same math there. The, the area of a one inch pipe, one inch pipe into a four inch pipe, the same amount of area, you could fit 16 pipes However, if we were looking for the same amount of water flow, it would only require 12 pipes. Remember, 1,200%. So the same water flow um, that we would expect out of a 4-inch pipe, we would uh, expect out of 12 1-inch pipes running side by side. Now, when we get to the 8-inch pipe, even though we can fit 64 of the same units uh, of square inch, square inches of a one inch pipe into the eight inch pipe, it would take 50, not 64. It would take 51 inch pipes to equal the same amount of volume using this chart um, to get the same amount of water through. And that does seem like a lot, just not what you would expect. 51 inch pipes to carry the same amount of water as one eight inch pipe seems a little nutty but the math doesn't lie that's one thing we might have politicians that don't tell the truth um, but uh, numbers usually don't lie so hope you found this informative if you do you know what to do hit the old thumbs up button and any comments questions if you found this information valuable let us know in the comment area